What's going on everyone? Who's ready for spring? In this video, I'm going to share with you my top 10 picks niche edition for the 2020 spring season. These are going to be amazing fragrances and I have some amazing discoveries that I want to share with you in this video. So if you guys want to check out my picks, stick around. They're coming up next. Welcome back to another video. This is your top 10 niche 2020 spring season. And you guys know it as well. If you like to make a great first impression, smelling good is definitely a great way to do it. Kicking things off my 10th spot, we have one fragrance that's been in my rotation regularly for the past seven plus years. From the house of Bond number nine, this is going to be Bleecker Street. This is the smell of fresh cut grass. It's green, it's fruity. You have this nice blueberry note nuance in the fragrance. There's also oak moss. So it's great for the springtime. It's one of my favorites. I always wear this stuff solely in the springtime. One of the best out there. If you want something amazing for the spring, guys, check out Bleecker Street from Bond Number 9 at my 10th spot. At the 9th spot, we have an oud fragrance. You might ask, oud for spring, Max? Isn't oud a harsh note to wear in the springtime? Absolutely not. This is going to be oud lemon mint, which for an oud fragrance, there's really not much oud going on. It's really sitting in the background just for support and to add character to the composition. This is really a radiant, sparkly, fizzy, very refreshing lemon slash mint composition from the House of Montserrat. Lasts a long time. That's why I like this one. You don't need more than two sprays. Even if it's a warm spring day, you're going to smell amazing. Very radiant, very bright. So a great one for Montserrat, guys. Definitely in my top five Montserras right now. If you guys haven't checked this out, please consider checking this out for the springtime. Oud Lemon Mint at the ninth spot. At the eighth spot, we have a fragrance that I've just revisited over the past few weeks. And I'm really glad to bring it back to my top spring rotation, which was one fragrance that was really in the background of my collection I wasn't really reaching out for. But this stuff here on scent alone is an amazing fragrance, guys. From the house of Frappon, which gets absolutely no talk in the community anymore. There was another one from Frappon, which was a boozy cognac fragrance, I believe, called 1270. But Luminis is definitely my favorite from this house. It's a gin and tonic vibe, juniper berries, cardamom, it's spicy, it's peppery, a little bit floral. I think there's jasmine in here as well. On scent alone, I'm going to say it again, this stuff smells amazing. It would have been higher on my list if this stuff actually had lasting power. On my skin, I get about four hours. It pushes nice for the first hour or so, and it stays really close to my skin. But the scent is amazing. It never ceases to give me good positive attention in the first hour. Again, after the first hour, people have to really lean close to me to really get whiffs of this fragrance. But Lumanis is a great one. And I think there's a, uh, a way that you can get this fragrance amped up, perhaps with Parfums Vintage. They have one, I don't know the name, but it's supposed to be like a, a more concentrated version of this particular fragrance. But like I said, on scent alone, this stuff is kick-ass at my eighth spot for spring 2020 niche edition. At the seventh spot, it's actually one of the discoveries I made last year. So it's a newcomer to the list, just like I told you guys in the beginning of the video, there's going to be some nice discoveries here. And this particular one is an amazing vetiver-based scent. But you might say, oh, vetiver, it's going to be common, smoky, earthy, a little fruity. Absolutely not, guys. This is actually a really unique and exotic vetiver. From the house of Carner Barcelona, Spanish niche house, this is Palo Santo. This is a milky you know, spicy, creamy vetiver scent. Nothing like this fragrance out there, guys. Extremely unique and exotic. Definitely worth checking out. This is going to be a very sophisticated vetiver scent. It's not going to be a run-of-the-mill vetiver fragrances out there. It has a boozy accord up top with rum. The vetiver here is very creamy because there's sandalwood, you know, along with it. And it's paired off with this milky balsamic notes. Just a great scent for spring, especially spring nights. You know, if it's going to be a little cooler out there, it's a great one that you can rock around springtime. You can really wear this all year long, but I think for the springtime, it's going to shine the most. At the seventh spot, Carner Barcelona's Palo Santo. This particular spring list of 2020, I've actually revisited a lot of my classic favorites. And this particular one is another house. It doesn't get much talk here in this particular uh, community, in the fragrance community on YouTube, but it is a masterpiece, guys. From the house of Ormond Jane, this is Ormond Man, an amazing peppery, creamy, spicy, a little bit sharp. There's also a black hemlock to the scent that adds this really different, unique take to the scent. Uh, again, another one that there's nothing out there that smells quite like this. It's gonna definitely give you an edge this springtime. There's also like a floral uh, undertone along with the, uh, the black hemlock. You also have other floral nuances that are very spicy and, and very compelling. You're gonna get pink pepper, juniper berries, vetiver. As you guys know, I love vetiver, so there's vetiver in here is also. And also going to get a nice sandalwood creamy undertone to the scent when you get into the dry down. But the black hemlock really adds this distinctive, uh, you know, characteristics to the scent that is just 
uncanny guys. I wouldn't say go buy and buy this, but you can definitely probably get a decant and rock this stuff this spring. You're gonna absolutely fall in love with it. Take my word for it. You know, look at this bottle. I've worn almost half of this shoes. Granted, I've had it for about five, six years, but it is a stellar scent that I definitely urge you guys to check out. If you haven't from the house of Ormond Jane, British niche house, this is Ormond Man. Hidden gem alert, guys. Let the sirens ring. This is going to be an amazing fragrance that I want to share with you guys this year. It was one of my favorite discoveries of 2019 and definitely worth checking out. Not only this fragrance, but the whole brand, but this is an amazing scent that I'm really looking forward to wearing this spring of 2020. My wife loves it. She actually wears it herself. She, she steals sprays and it is one fragrance that smells amazing. Talk about aromatic, you know, a little bit spicy, refreshing. There's also a salty undertone. It is a stellar fragrance, guys. From the house of Amarhud, this is going to be Whetstone. It starts off with a blast of citruses with a sea salt note. You also have a spicy mid with ginger and cardamom, which is really incredibly aromatic and very, very appealing. You also have ambergris, which you guys know it's not a cheap ingredient, which adds amazing character and dimension to the scent. And you also have mineral notes, hence the name Whetstone. And you also have a note of oud way in the background to just add a little bit of uh, intrigue to the fragrance. Whetstone is finished off by a great trifecta of vetiver, cedar, and dried patchouli. A stellar composition, guys. I mean, I like it so much. It's going to be my scent of the day today. If you guys haven't yet, do yourself a favor. Try the house of Amohud, and in particular, Whetstone. It's going to blow you away this spring 2020. In fact, I have a code for you guys. The folks at Amrood were kind enough. I reached out to them and said I was going to do a top video, and I really love this stuff. And they were kind enough to say, "Hey, Max, here's a code for your for your viewers. The code is going to be Max20. I'm going to have it all in the description, and the code is good until March 31st. Not only on this fragrance, but on everything Amrood. If you guys want to check it out, it's going to be in the description. Enjoy. As you guys know and follow my channel, I always have to have a fragrance in my top video that gives me a old world class and elegance. And this particular one is going to be the one that I'm gonna be wearing this spring of 2020. This is going to be from the House of Flores, another British house. This is 1962. It's really going to encompass and bring forth all of that classy and old world vibe of the 1962s, the 1960s. This stuff is going to be an aromatic fougere of sorts with lavender, uh, creamy sandalwood, vetiver, spices. You guys recently saw a fragrance review I did on Tom Ford's Bol de Jour. It's gonna be in the same vein, same genre of those aromatic barbershop feel fougeres of you know the old world uh, you know vein. This stuff here is amazing though. It lasts a long time. It gives me tremendous projection. It's one of my favorite barbershop feels out there. In fact, I will put in, be putting together a top barbershop feel fougere fragrances of all time, and this is definitely going to be there. So at my fourth spot of the spring niche 2020, Flores 1962. The third spot is a fragrance that needs absolutely no introduction, and all three fragrances in this top three are interchangeable. You know, three could be one, you know, two could be three. I mean, these are all great picks. At the third spot is a fragrance from the house of Creed, and a fragrance that needs no introduction. This stuff was introduced in 1985, and it's a fantastic spring in a bottle, green eye. Irish tweed. The scent is green, got the lemon verbena, a little bit of musk in here. There's some ambergris, which is, you know, signature to create fragrances. It just smells amazing, guys. It's one of those fragrances that it's the epitome of a gentleman. It smells class, elegance, and sophistication in the bottle. This is a timeless fragrance that if you haven't tried, you definitely need to check it out. The third spot, Green Irish Sweet from Creed. Second spot is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. You know, if I had to keep 10 niche fragrances for life, this would definitely be there. Uh, it would be either this one or another one from this house, but definitely one of my favorites, top two from this particular house. This is from the house of Amouage, and this happens to be one of my favorite niche purchases because it happens to be one of the first niche, niche purchases I made over a decade ago. And I'm talking about Reflection Man from the house of Amouage. This has a tremendous note of jasmine in the heart that just takes over a room. It's creamy, it's a little bit spicy, there's a nice pimento note in here. This stuff is incredible, guys. It's sensual, it's sexy, it's appealing. Uh, my wife loves the stuff on me. You know, I think this is like my fifth or sixth bottle, you know, for, for the past 10 years. I've had this fragrance in my rotation all the time. And I think it always makes my top five spring picks for every year niche. Reflection Man is a scent you can't dismiss. It's a scent that commands attention. If you guys want to smell amazing this springtime, definitely check out from the House of Amouage, Reflection Man. At the number one spot, let me get a drum roll. This is going to be a fragrance from the house of Maison Francis Kirchen. And from the AMFK house, this is a fragrance that actually is the top seller for men's. You know, taken away, of course, outside of Baccarat Rouge 540, which is the number one selling fragrance for that brand, this is going to be the number one selling fragrance for men. And this is, of course, Amiri's Om. This stuff is just unbelievably good. It's an incredible scent. 
that it's again compelling, amazing for the spring. The Amiris flower that it's contained here in, in the heart of the scent gives this fragrance a really nice, very distinctive and creamy and, and, and a little bit sharp as well, but so amazing, guys. The Amiris flower here is just incredible. The overall scent profile here is going to be a creamy, woody, spicy type of a scent. You have a lot of great components in the heart of this fragrance, but they're all well balanced. You have coconut, dark chocolate, iris flower, and of course, the Amiris flower. This stuff here is out of this world good. If you haven't tried it, do try it. There's a new one now, which is the uh, Parfum Edition, which I haven't tried. This here is definitely um, the Eau de Toilette, and I absolutely love this stuff. Again, it's one that's always been in my top videos and one that I always look forward to wearing this time of the year because it always gives me compliments, it makes me smell amazing, and it's got this really nice elegance and uniqueness about it. Check out Amira's own from the house of MFK, you're not gonna disappoint. And of course, you guys know you can check all my 10 picks right here, not only the niche, but also the designer picks, which I did a, I think a week or two weeks ago. You guys can enjoy all 10 choices, either five mil or 10 mil option with my partner, myfragrancesamples.com, which will be at a discount rate. And then on top of that, you can use my code MAX15 to enjoy even further sales. All that information, guys, in the description. I'll do one more for you guys. I'm actually gonna do a giveaway of this Max Pack, you know, my top 10 picks for the niche spring 2020. All you have to do is going to be linked in the description. This is going to be US only. However, if this video reaches 1K likes or more, I'll actually do two giveaways. All right, guys, so if you wanna know everything about the giveaway and everything we talked about in this video, please be sure to check the description box of this video. Don't forget to let me know in the comments your top choices, top five or top 10 fragrances you're looking to wear this spring of 2020 in the niche side of things. And of course, as always, thank you so much for your support. Be sure to wear what truly moves you because fragrance is emotion in motion and it's an extension of your character and personality. So keep on spraying and I'll see you again in the next one.